Eat this. Drink that. Go. With Jimmy Cephalo and Brenda Bassett. Eat this, drink that, go. Our, our first guests today uh, come from uh, uh, perhaps our favorite restaurant in all of South Florida, Salou Maria 104. Uh, soon to be with two locations, one in Midtown and the second one soon to be opening July 16th uh, at Miracle Mile in Coral Gables. We're pleased to be joined by, of course, chef and co-owner Angelo Massarini hey, and by a special guest, Alberto <laughs> Carli from Ragoni de Asiago, which is some great products, Thank I understand, you. that are being sold at Salou Maria 104. How, Absolutely. how do you do on the pronunciation there? Rigoni di Asiago. Not bad. Uh, That's it's pretty good. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah, there you go. Asiago is a location on the Mount of yes. Right. It's, it's really not just a cheese. It's you a know, location. Cheese, yeah. <laughs> he, he gave the name of the cheese, but also now we have this wonderful product that are sold pretty much, uh, you know, very well in Italy and right. started to, to sell over here in the U.S. But we are uh, in the northeast of Italy, so close to Venice. Close All to right. Venice, yeah. So you're, the, you're, you're the Veneto. Area. You're over there. Veneto, yes. All right. What are you going to prepare today? Well, and I also want to say Rigoni is also a uh, Proud sponsor of uh, Federazione Italiana Cuochi, so right. with some the vice president, and I'm particularly proud of the products because it's organic. Okay. And I think is uh, one of the best product of Italian product on this segment in the market. And so back to action, we're gonna yes. do uh, the panna cotta, which we serve in Salumeria, is a panna cotta with. Uh, Nocciolata. Alberto, would you like to explain no, the nocciolata? Nocciolata. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a hazelnut spread. Right. And, uh, and um, very diff I would say, similar to other products, but uh, it has a peculiarity that uh, we don't use uh, the ingredients are all organic, so are, are all non-GMO. They are, uh, you know, kosher as well, certified. And uh, on top of that, we don't use, uh, most importantly, palm oil. Oh, so really? we just use uh, sunflower oil, so it's much better oil for, uh, you know, much healthier. So very different from other products. So that's why it's very successful. Right. So a healthier back version. to Sunvella, you yes. know, right. Right. You know right. Right. great no fans of Sunvella. Oil, but I have like a... Correct. 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 Exactly. Correct. A healthier oil, a healthier product. And my kids just love the, yes, the hazelnut yes, yes, chocolate yes. combination, right. as most Italian children do too. <laughs> Correct. Adults Correct. as well. And this is the healthier version. So Correct. Look, at, look for this and find it at a lot of different markets in South Florida. Yes, right? yes. Of course, we sell it through with, uh, with the help of uh, Salumeria, that uh, we are very proud as well of that. But you can find it at all food markets, uh, fresh markets, or any natural uh, and organic store right, right. around Florida, but also the U.S. So it's very, it's very well right. placed. And uh, we have also another version of, of the nocciolata that is the dairy-free. Uh, so same recipe, right. no milk, and oh. uh, and uh, um, let me hold this up for yeah. the camera for you. So this yeah. is a non-dairy version of it. So Correct. if you have someone in the family that has a dairy aversion, this is the right product to get for them. They can enjoy it as well. Nice idea. Again, Salou Maria 104 is where you can find it. You can also find it in Whole Foods, Fresh Market, those kinds of places. But a wonderful product. Angela, what did you just do? You put some... Yeah. So, um, I put some, a quarter of a heavy cream, right. mm -hmm. our panna, panna cotta, right. and we start to cook in a, in a pot. We're going to add uh, a little bit of a cup of um, powdered sugar, mm -hmm. and then we proceed to add also the nocciolata, and soon after that, we're going to add a little bit of a, a gelatina. Uh -huh. How ah. do you call it? Gelatina uh, in America? Uh, gelatina. 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 There you go. Yeah. So, another particular particularity of uh, Rigoni di Asiago is, okay, I do in Salumeria with powdered sugar, but I do on my house because, of course, I'm in diet. <laughs> I use Dolce D, which is a sweetener, and is a totally... Yes, please, it's, a, it's a... You I know, can substitute the sugar... With and the put this in. Oh, yes, yeah. wow. this, this is the sweetener that, for example, we use for our fruit spread. Mm -hmm. So there's no sugar added in the fruit spread. We just use this sweetener, and we came out uh, uh, recently with this product. Uh, the fruit spread are market leader in Italy. I would say that 40% uh, of Italy eat have that product at home. Oh, okay. So it's unbelievable because right. it's well known. We came out with this sweetener because uh, to give the possibility to people to to choose another sugar substitute. 
Now, this is made out of apple only. It's made out of apples. All ingredient, yes, wow. is concentrated oh. organic apple juice. All right, so you're mixing that up. You put the uh, the uh, the hazelnut spread in it as well. Exactly. Just the three ingredients, and now some of the, uh, the I gelatin. I put like about five sheets of gelatin, right. and I just make a, a soaking water. So that's it, okay. And so then we add it to the rest. All right, so that thickens things up a bit, yes. right? Okay. So another substitute, if you want, uh, there is some uh, crazy algae. They can use right, so right. it's not an animal product, but it's a, a vegetable product. So at this point, to make easy, I'm gonna transfer the panna cotta. On the, let me switch off this one. There you go. In here. Is it always served cool? Yes. yes because you need to thicken. Right, right. I got it. Okay. This is a quarter. Make about. Then uh, panna cotta, 10 or 11, depends on right. how big you make it. And you just drop inside, like that. See, I don't think Americans know enough about Italian desserts. You know, they, right. I, I don't think they do. And the Italians but, always try to make some things healthy when it comes to dessert, too. Yeah. You know, there's always fruit, there's fresh always fruit nuts, there are things yeah. like that at a table. There are cheeses that will use with a little bit of honey, and they, they use a, a fresh, which we're going to do in the next segment, by the way, as well with some of these wonderful products that Alberto has brought in from Rogoni de Asiago, which you can get at Sulmaria 104 in Midtown, and also you'll be able to uh, get it at Whole Foods Markets, Fresh Market, those kinds of things. But healthier products, it, it's not just trying to put things on the shelf that you'll enjoy, because you'll enjoy them, uh, but, but it's the health factor as well. And I like that idea about some of the things he's told us yeah. about, especially the, uh, the, the spread, uh, the hazelnut chocolate spread, uh, cocoa spread, just wonderful. So at this point, we have a, our a Nocciolata, uh, uh, panna cotta. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Our panna cotta, I did with right. nocciolata. Panna cotta with nocciolata, I mean. Right. Okay. <laughs> it works. And uh, the, right, the right way to plate is uh, cutting a little bit the, the edge of the aluminum. Right. Okay. And just simply unfold the aluminum and drop on the plate. Oh, oh boy. Wow. See, the gelatin starts to jiggle it a little bit, which is wonderful. <laughs> I like that jiggling. This is for you. Her. Actually, for her. Yes, it is. <laughs> 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 you just have to do the one, Angelo, and then we'll. I'll just. Uh, if you give me another spoon yeah. here, I'll just dive in with well, her. Well, we played as of yeah, our cameraman well. and uh, all our guests. We've got about how long? We've got about a minute left, so mm. we've got time. Go. What do you think, Brenda? Oh my goodness. All right, let me let me wrap this up again. Slumeria 104, right there in Midtown. They're also open. You can buy these products there. Uh, restaurant, terrific place to buy some things. And they're also opening uh, up uh, at. Uh, uh, Miracle Ma, and they'll start July 16th. They'll start for dinner, and then they'll open up for lunch as time goes. You know, they're just working through it as well. And this is the panna cotta. Brenda, tell me about it. You know what? You, you taste you taste the nut, you know, in it, and it's it's creamy. It's wonderful. Thank you so much. Good thank to you, see you, you Robert. So thank much. you, Jessica. Thank you, Good to see you. Thank, thank you for you. coming. I'm thank so you glad you. your thank products you. are here. Thank you. We're very getting much. healthier in America. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> Amazing. You. Yeah. We're going to come back and drink some scotch, but don't worry about it. It's great <laughs> scotch. It's McAllen, my favorite. Right after this, I'll eat this drink, drink that go. go.